Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Salvation Lee. We are back with the video, guys. And today, man, we're going over the best settings for Black Ops Cold War. ADS, stick input, FOV, we're going through it all. The first question is, how do pros approach ADS and sensitivity? So first of all, like in pubs, you're probably good going up to like an eight at maybe the highest, maybe at nine if you're feeling crazy or if you're sniping. But in competitive settings, pros stick between four and seven. Most pros use six, six, one one on their sensitivity some use seven seven like Oc i think octane uses seven seven and a few others and maybe just a few use four four so overall i think you need to experiment with five five six six and then maybe seven seven for your sensitivities their ads sensitivities one is usually your best option still i wouldn't really have a problem with somebody going down to point nine in modern warfare a lot of people went with point nine five but in black ops cold war they only let you go by increments of point one so I would recommend sticking on the 1-1 one, one sensitivities, but I wouldn't have any problem if somebody went down to 0.9 for uh, maybe like if you're going 7, 7 7.9, that could work as well. The most important thing for sensitivity at the end of the day is what feels best for you. Um, I use 6611 personally, but uh, it all comes down to your personal preference within a reasonable range uh, for what like the average pro is using. So the aim assist, keep that on. Obviously you wanna keep the aim assist on. When you go down a little bit, you go down to the minimum input thresholds. That's the next important thing to talk about. Uh, this is way too high as like the default sensitivity. It makes no sense for why it's outrageously high because like in Modern Warfare, the default was 0.05 and this is like on a, a completely different scale. Uh, I would recommend between three and five as your input sensitivities. What matters the most is, you know, preventing stick drift. So stick drift is when you just have your controller sitting here and your screen starts moving because your sticks are just slightly off centered. So that's something you have to you have to consider when you're working with the input threshold. Um, three, three works great for me. Some pros go up to like five, five or six, six. Um, some go down as low as two, two, but it just kind of depends on what your controller is and how that plays out. So uh, I would recommend three, three. That's what I'm going with. So now over to the graphics, the field of view is the next important talking point. Um, this is pretty straightforward. Most pros are playing on between 1 and 105. I'm on 105. Um, you could probably crank it up a little bit higher if you feel comfortable with it, but it can get a little bit tough at times with uh, seeing opponents and, and creating th and making things a little bit too small. I saw some pros were like at 103 and a few were at 95. Most were between 100 and 105. So, so experiment with that for a little bit to figure out what's best for you. At the end of the day, you know, it's not going to make that much of a difference between 100 and 105. Um, just whatever feels best for you is the best case scenario. Uh, again, I chose 105 and I'm really, really enjoying it. That's where I would recommend for sure. The ADS field of view, leave it unaffected. That's the most like simple, straightforward way for the FOV. And then down on motion blur, turn off that motion blur, man. I saw a lot of clips of people working with motion blur in Modern Warfare like months and months in. Yo, don't do that, man. It makes it harder to see people. It makes the game feel like, like legitimately blurry and uh, a shocker, right? Turn off motion blur all the way. It'll make your life a lot easier. And then when it goes to the audio settings, basically the only thing, I turn off music because that can get really obnoxious in game. The only other thing would be the um, audio preset. High boost gives you the best chance to hear footsteps. So I would highly recommend the high boost, especially if you're playing pubs, you're gonna be hearing a lot of footsteps all the time. So that's just your best bet as a whole. So that's basically it for the video. It's a pretty short one, but I've been posting a lot today. So check out the gaming channel. I've been, I'm going to be posting very consistently over there. Game battles, community gameplays with you guys as well. So uh, I, that just got started. So I would really appreciate it if you go support that. And then a lot more tips videos are coming out. We've got uh, improve your aim video, tips on movement. And, and then of course, learn from the pros will start coming out here really soon. And, and of course, a ton of SMD tips as well. So a lot coming down the channel here. So hope you guys subscribe and are ready to watch. But as always, guys, I'm your boy, Salvation Elite, and we will see you next time. I'm out.